Look, he's slowing down again. You do this only when you are exiting a junction. Do you know when you're turning the wheel? Subconsciously be aware of what you're doing. You know, if you try and do this in, in Brixton, Bradford, Dewsbury, Burstall, Glasgow, somewhere, do you know somewhere where there's lots and lots of people living in small areas, they'll bump into your car. Subconsciously be aware of the speed that you're traveling at when you're meeting cars at junctions. And what's the next instruction? 600 hertz. <coughs> mm -hmm. Around about the um, second is straight ahead. Mm -hmm. So for me, as, a, as an experienced driver, yards, cross the roundabout, second exit. As an experienced driver, I look, I can see a round blob, a round circle. That means it's a roundabout. The main traffic lights there. Yeah. It means that the traffic lights are going to go ahead. I'm following. I'm going down A64. Okay. So am I staying here then? Y yes. Staying cross the forward. roundabout, second exit. So as a, as an experienced driver. I'm looking for the A64 mm -hmm. York Road, which I'm on, mm -hmm. which it tells me I'm on York Road. I'm reading the bottom of the sat nav. I'm looking at the sign on the right telling me lane one on the left, A64 city center, mm -hmm. which is what I'm on. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the floor on the left. Mm -hmm. It showed me A64. Now I am in lane one, lane one yes. of A64. Mm -hmm. I will remain in that. Yes. Pressure cooker slowly yeah. <laughs> warming up, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, that's a nice car. Just sexy car, yeah. yeah. It's an M6. Like nice. Do you know the thing is with that colour? It gets uh, scratched mm. easily. Yeah. It's like a dark colour. Mm. And do you know the problem with dark colours? The blemishes so show easily. Mm. It's an old car. It's not a new car. He, keep, he keeps it in a garage. Probably only takes it out on a weekend. Just to drive. Yeah, yeah, it's like a weekend car. a lovely response well done that was good you. you responded in good time the white car had enough time to stop he should have stopped like you if he reacted immediately like you did you would have stopped perfectly fine good speed good braking in good time Stop for one second to be on time. Well, he's 
certainly not going 40 miles an hour, is he? P.H. Jones. Yes, you're following your sat nav. And this is taking you back to the test centre. slowing down when you're overtaking. When you're changing lane, you slow down. Now you're accelerating. After 400 yards, go straight on, then turn right. Do you, do you understand what I mean by that? No, no. When you're doing a lane change, you come off the gas. You release gas. You're supposed to maintain gas. Yes, and when you release gas, your car goes slower. So when there's a car in that lane, you seem to think He's coming faster and it's not. It's very important that you maintain so you're able to Go safely straight on, assess. then turn right. Following your sat nav. Speed limit thirty. After 80 yards, turn left, then turn left. Turn left, then turn left. Where are you going? Left. Where? They didn't come up immediately, but if not, I saw the you, arrow. You're, you're listening to the sat-nav. 
you are not processing the salah. How far forward is your left hand? There we are. Is it? This one. Is After it? Yeah. 80 yards, you sure? turn left. If you haven't failed your test yet, you will fail it now. Yeah. You're panicking. Where is your left turn? This one. Is it? Yes. Is it? Okay. It's this mm. one here. Turn left. You're not letting the Satna speak to you. And they do this when you are coming back to the test centre too fast. When you drive fast. Or if the roads are clear. Do you know if the roads are clear on your test? Yeah. They do this. Mm. Or if you are, you know, really quick, like you are. At me. the end of the road, turn right. Then you have reached your destination. So you will do the full test route. You know, like mm. if the test route you finish quick because there's no traffic, they'll add a couple of roads like they've done on this test route. Mm. Turn right. Then you have reached your destination. After the junction, pull up on the left. Okay. Anywhere you don't After know. 80 yards, you have reached your destination. Get closer to the pavement and park near that lamppost. Okay. Anywhere here, please. That's lovely. Anywhere here. Okay. You're doing yeah. the same thing again. Yeah. You stay to the left, then you stay to the right, but you don't stay back, back to the left and straighten the car. Okay. That's it. Okay, part of the car. Okay, that was another test route you did. Um, not too bad. A um, little bit of issue where, for some reason, your brain won't accept your test route going past the test centre. When you finish it, your, your brain just wouldn't process it. It just wouldn't. Okay? What you must remember is if, let's say, for example, the roads are clear on your test. So let's say, for example, uh, five or six roads are clear, or your road is empty for whatever reason, and you're coming back quickly, and you come back to the test centre before your test uh, is supposed to reasonably finish, they'll make you... Um, do a couple of more roads and you must and it's like, like these ones yeah like them there exactly the same that's that was done on, on a test only yesterday so they'll make you do a couple of more roads and that's exactly what they've done and what you need to understand is like slow your brain down process what it's telling you and continue doing the route now usually if you haven't failed on that test route you'd fail doing the right turn you made because you're looking up and you're looking down but you're not looking at anyone coming from the side road and you need to um right on which one now the one near the test center this one i just did coming here yeah. look in the door mirror in yeah. the right door mirror yeah. can you see where that white van just gone down now the white car yes you don't look at the white car you look into this road and you look into this road coming up from the bottom you do not look at where that white Audi has just come from. You don't. You, you didn't look at the van, where the van just come yeah, from now. Yes. You do not look into that road when you are coming and doing a right turn into this road. You okay. look left and right into this road only. Look at the silver van. Yeah. Watch where he turns. You don't look at people coming out okay. of that road. Okay. And that's where most people fail. See that silver car that's just mm, come out? Mm. You don't see, you don't look, you don't look for him, so you don't expect him. And when you do, you emergency brake and stop. You fail the test by then. Okay, so I'm only looking this way and this way. Yes, not. yeah, not looking at the other road coming out as well. 
and they do that with you what they throw to you. Okay. It's okay. something you need to see. Other than that, actually, I don't okay. think you did too bad. No. I think that pull up on the right was debatable, and mm. I think that was because lack of knowledge, nothing else. I don't believe it's your driving standard that was poor. I believe what it was, you didn't understand that you, yeah. you're supposed to do it that way. So you're supposed yeah. to be a bit more assertive and then checking with the signal, just move across. Yes. Okay, and then the crossroads, if I'm going ahead, I have priority. Mm -hmm. right. And you don't know that. You know when you pass your test and you meet your next your last instructor? <laughs> yeah, punch him in the, mm -hmm. in the bum. <laughs> you know, it's very naughty of him not to explain that to you. But at a crossroads, if you are emerging mm -hmm. and you are going ahead, and they are opposite you, emerging and turning right, you have priority. Similarly, at traffic lights, if you are turning right, you must yield to oncoming cars. Yes. It's okay. exactly the same policy. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yes. But, so, what, okay. but what you did there was you were not looking at your sat -nav. You just saw the right turn. You didn't process that it's, uh, it's over the junction and the next right. And to go over the junction, you have to position slightly left. Mm. You have to go over like at a very slight angle. You can't go immediately straight ahead. Yeah. And our routes, I don't think we've been there. We? There's uh, 13 test routes. Right. Okay. To get your driving to where it is now, genuinely, we've had to work very hard. I mean, you've had to work super hard, but we've had to work very hard. And now that you're going over test routes, we just need to make sure you're more familiar with them. Yes. Am I right, boss? Yes. So in terms of your right turn, mm -hmm. uh, at the roundabout, uh, this right signal that you had on, sorry, um, the reason yes, why definitely. that was wrong is because yes. that was for the right turn, and that's why, I mean, you, yes, you, you yes. picked up on me kind of saying sorry to them. Yes. I'm glad you picked up, and I'm glad you, you, you called that out. Yeah. You now understand why. Yes. So I think you did really well. I think you did okay. I think that wasn't too bad. I think there are a little couple of discrepancies that we need to fix. Mm. Other than that, uh, I think you did okay. I don't really think there was really much to write home with. I mean, look, I know I'm a lot stricter than your examiner, but that's my no, job. No, yes, yes, my, I, my, I appreciate it. Do yes. you know, my, my job is to, uh, mm. and what we're gonna do just before we go home, mm. I need to do a pull up on the right with you. Okay, yes. Okay, uh, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna follow the road up immediately after the bus stop. Can you see the bus stop? It's on the left hand side. Can you see it? Can you see that lady? Uh, can you see that boy in a white uh, t-shirt? Can you see the green traffic light? Yeah, yeah, On the left, yes, yeah? yes. Okay, can you see the triangle? Yeah, I can see the bus stop. Yeah. Lovely. Where that car's coming out from? Yes, I can Turn see left it. there. Okay. So move off when you're ready and turn left there. Okay. Let's do one park up on the right. Mm. Let me make sure that you understand it. Okay. And do you know when you're doing your park up on the right, mm. can you speak out aloud so I know what's going through your head? So I understand it. Okay. Don't feel silly. I, I'm just trying to see whether you do it the way we want you to do it. Okay. So when I ask you to do a park up on the right, I want you to talk out aloud about what you're about to do. Okay. okay. So move off when you're ready, please. Yeah, where that bus stop is, we are turning left there. Left? Left, yes. Oh, okay, left. Where that car's emerging from on the left. Okay, 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 okay. So where that red car's just gone now, please. Well done, not bad. Okay. Good right turn. Left turn. Okay. So You're making me mix up my <laughs> left and right with you now. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's rubbing off on me now. Yeah, no, left and right. <laughs> okay. Take the next road on the left, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's from morning. But because of the park car, that's why I was quite slow. Yeah, yeah, okay. When you need to do it, I have no problem. 
when you shouldn't be doing it, I tell you off. So it's like, you know, on a roundabout when you're exiting, you don't need to drop your speed. You should be actually accelerating. But what you do, you drop it over here, it's perfectly reasonable. You have to because you, you can't see. And if you can't see and you're committing, yeah, you, you know, you, you must be silly. At least the bin men have been, haven't they? Normally around, is it? Half eight? I think half eight they're normally here. Yeah. At the end of the road, turn left. Okay, if you can find a safe place to pull up on the right, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. The only thing I'll, I'll kind of warn you of is when you're doing a, a park up on the right, don't drop your speed until you are physically parking the car. Right, okay. So don't 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 drop your speed to less than 10 until you are parking. Okay. So when you are coming across, you're doing about 13. Then before you're actually on this side of the road, you're doing eight. Okay. So don't, because the problem is if there's somebody coming into the new road, they're accelerating and you're going a, a lot slower. Okay. So make sure that you only drop your speed when you are physically parking on this side of the road and you've straightened the car. Okay. Other than that, absolutely beautiful. No problem. Okay, okay uh, and reverse your <coughs> car spaces. Okay.